Puts it around to the near side, held in by Thomas. His long wrist shot and a save by Liut. Through traffic, I'm not sure he had much of a look at it. Now another long shot, Liut had it, muffed it. Here's Thomas, Liut the save, rebound! Liut stopped that! And the Whalers bear it into the hog zone. Well, why didn't Kerry Wilson get a penalty? He just tackled Noonan as he attempted to get the rebound. Well, here's Savard with a long shot. Tip Liut stopped that. Now Murray on the far side, across for Savard, shooting! He scores! Shot is Savard from the top of the near circle. Blew it by Liut to the sixth side. One to nothing, Chicago. Second chance for Savard. He let the first one go. Liut made the save. The Whalers failed to clear. Savard got a second chance. Cranked it up. Rick Vive was cutting in front of Liut. As a screen, I don't think he got a piece of it. He's back on track with the goals. Lude made an excellent save on the first attempt. Troy Murray picked it up. Diagonal pass back to Savard, who had all kinds of room, and he blew it by Lude. The center before he stopped. Larmer back over the line for Savard. Faking, walks right in. Turns in behind the net. Trying to center it. Lude gloved it, lost it. Now a scramble to the side of the goal. Graham digs it out. Graham centered a shot, and Leut the save on Savard. Rebound cleared, not out, Doug Wilson. Centering Savard, the Larmer, in front Graham, he scores! What a passing play by the Blackhawks! A brilliant sequence of passes, and the Hawks lead two to nothing. line has been together. They've played extremely well. They moved the puck extremely well. Graham playing the left wing with Larmer and Savard. Savard to Larmer to Graham and Graham on the off wing buries it after Leute robs Savard on a feed from Graham in behind the net. You couldn't ask for a prettier passing play. Doug Wilson, four-way passing play there. Wilson to Savard to Larmer to Graham. Dennis Savard with some great stick handling prior to the goal that set up Graham. And Liut just juggled a waist-high little flip shot from Savard, and that kept the play alive. Feeds Steve Conroy over the line, leaving for Vive. His centering pass intercepted. Whalers on a counter have a two-on-one. Over the line, Ferraro centered one. They score! Ray Ferraro was looking for a Kevin Deneen deflection. I'm not sure if he got one or not. That appeared to go straight in, but at any rate, the Whalers on the board trail it two to one. Whenever a defenseman makes a rush or gets involved offensively, the trailing forward has got to take his point. Troy Murray didn't realize the defenseman was in, got caught, and was a three-on-one. Pass across, deflected by Deneen to Ferraro, back to Deneen, and a little deflection through the legs of Darren Pang. Only the one defender back. That was Trent Yanni, and he didn't realize it was a two-on-one as he committed to the guy on the far side. Doug Wilson takes a long shot. Leut stopped that rebound. Presley right in. Leut the save. Rebound to the near. Now Doug loose to Terge on his shot. Blocked at the Hawk defense. Then Kerry Wilson the rebound. Moves in front. Shoots. Bang the save. Rebound taken by Noonan. And Sutter picks it up. Leading Basson. Jennings stands him up along the boards. Then Sutter crunch Jennings. Here they go. And Jennings with a big left hand knocks Sutter down. And they fall down right in front of the benches. So our view is impaired here. Of the Washington Capitals picked up in a trade. Basson and Jennings collided. And then Sutter came in and flattened him from behind. Totally surprising Jennings. And then Jennings took exception to it and took advantage of the superior reach. Babbage held it into Francis. Francis to the far circle. Dropped it to the line, Young. He put it to Babbage. Long wrist shot, they score! Darren Pang never saw it. A wrist shot that still has not hit the back of the net. Caromed in off the far post. This game is tied at two. Well, Hawks had a chance to clear. Troy Murray failed to do so on a bouncing puck. Fanned on it, it was kept in by Babbage with a skate. 
The waiters get a second chance, and they made the best of it. Babbage just flipped the wrist shot that deflected maybe twice, hit a skate, and somehow got by Darren Pang and hit the post and went in. He didn't pick it up till it was by him. But the Hawks had a chance to clear it, failed to do so. The waiters, on a weak wrist shot from the point, tie it up. Lead with a good stop. Here's Deneen, a quick breakout. Over the line, Deneen shooting, Pang, rebound. Pang stopped that as Ferraro tied up. And let's say the net comes off the mooring, so. I think the game plan from here. Now at the far point, Babbage. Up the boards to Turgeon, side of the net, Carey Wilson centered it, picked off at the defense. And the Hawks clear, they may have gotten away with one there. Well, Bob McGill went way to the top of the circle to chase. Well, that left a two-on-one situation in front of the Hawk net, and the Hawks were able to recover and break up the pass. Pang looking to hoist it himself, gets it to center, a breakaway for Presley. He's in alone, Miss Hanlon now shoots, he scores! Wayne Presley had it, lost it, got it back again, and fired it by Liu, who refused to come out of his goal crease. And the Hawks with a short-handed goal. Lead three to two. Darren Pang with that patented backhand flip. At good hang time, it surprised everyone. Presley did a good job of staying on side. The drawback of dumping it in on the power play. If you don't get it all the way around, Pang on the angle shot came out, flipped it high into the neutral zone. Presley stayed on side. The puck preceded him across the line. He finally corralled it. Fake went to his forehand and beat Liut. And Liut looked like his feet were frozen. He was right on the goal line. Never made a move. He just stood there. Delayed call. Francis in over the line for Cote. And the play is ruled offside. Now here's... Oh, somebody just slugged Manson. Tom Martin. A straight left right into Manson. Now Manson going after Martin, and they're all gathering the corner. Now La Douceur slugged Manson from behind. And a big scrum in the near corner of the hot zone. Well, La Douceur's got to be a third man in. Got to be. Savard, no way he should be thrown out. He just came to the rescue after La Douceur dumped in on Manson. Uh, there was going to be a penalty initially called in the offensive zone. Martin surprised Manson with a straight left. And Martin now giving the linesman a tough time as he tries to corral him. Finally now able to pull Martin out of the, out of the pack. Good Manson. Well, while Carey Frazier tries to straighten it all out, let's... Let you know that it's the Blackhawks three, the Whalers two on WBBM. Draw again to the Whalers. Babbage at the far point. Put it to the side of the net. Carey Wilson stick handle center one. They score! The Hawks, I think, put it into their own net. Carey Wilson trying to center it through the goal mouth, it hit Pang and then went in off of either him or McGill, and the Whalers on a fortunate bounce have tied the game at three. It was a two-on-one situation. Doug Wilson slid to break it up, forcing the Whaler player to back off, and then Pang guessed. He moved away from the post, and as he anticipated the pass, it hit him, and the blocker went in behind him. Doug Wilson made the play, two-on-one. It looked like it hit Troy Murray's stick or Bob McGill. I think it was Bob McGill as he came in. Pang broke it up, and then McGill stick inadvertently knocked it in past Pang. Bad break for Pang and the Blackhawks. Now Larmer on the far board. Steve Larmer tees it up for Savard, centered it, Samuelson blocked it, a scramble, Leup the save! As the Hawks, Troy Murray trying to stuff it in, and Leup able to hold him off. Here we go, the draw to the Whalers, and Brent Peterson over the line to tip it, shoot, and a save by Pang, and a good one, I think that hit Manson's stick, and Pang had to be sharp with it. 
But right off the get-go, Tippett with a short-handed chance, and Pang had to make a good save, a glove save from in close. Android for Thomas. Got it away to Presley, two on two over the line, shoots one up off the glass. Manson in deep after it. Bounced it loose to Presley into the deep slot, shooting, he scores! Wayne Presley with a rocket up over the glove of Leute. He just bustled that one by him, and the Blackhawks on Presley's second goal of the game lead four to three. Troy Murray with a crunching check. Dave Manson in the corner for checking. Pried the puck loose. Presley circled back to the top of the circle on his forehand and just blew it by the glove hand of Liut. Just under the crossbar. Great shot by Presley. But Manson, the defenseman's in the corner. Tied up by Babbage. He got it to Presley. Presley picked it up, turned, went to the hash marks and blew it by him. Then back back to center ice and the Hawks back in offside. Well, after the whistle sounded, now they wrestle down to the ice. Brad Jennings and Everett Santa pass in a scuffle and didn't see the beginning of it, quite frankly. And Interesting to see the calls here with the, the play had been stopped, lost, and here come the Whalers, two on two. Brent Peterson over the line trying to center. Here's a shot. Bang! Great save. Great work from Cote to fight off a Savard check. Aggressive checking. Had the best scoring chance as Cote almost snuck one by Darren Pang as he fought off a Savard check. Joel Quinville got it to center. Hawks will dump it right back in. And now, oh, here. Presley knocked down Tom Martin's been cheap shotting everybody all night and Martin just got Presley on a player change it's got to be a five minute penalty to stick right in the app on Presley and Troy Murray broken nose and all goes to the get at Martin but that's a five minute game and a game misconduct Presley got right in the mouth right in the neutral zone Presley's been cut right around the mouth, it looks like. I imagine Troy Murray will probably get a two-minute roughing penalty, so the five-minute penalty will not probably be as... Great. And a, a Hawk player coming to the aid of his teammate and challenging Martin. The Hawks are going to get a one-minute power play. And Martin, I mean, there isn't any doubt what he was doing. The puck was nowhere around. He lifted his stick right up, put it right in Presley's yap, cut him. It was an intentional move, and it would certainly appear. Martin, I would imagine, will be subject to disciplinary action. Troy Murray just grabbed Martin to try to protect his teammate. Gets four minutes. We said Tom Martin, that's not the first time he's been, he's whacked a guy in this game. He's been running around like, he's been running around like that bus that he was traded for. Young, a versatile performer, now playing defense in this four-on-four -four situation. He's knocked down, though. Savard steals, moves in. Senator Larmer, Lee Youth the save. And it's clear to center. Deneen has a breakaway. He's in alone. Here's the shot. Shot it wide. Deneen had a breakaway. And I think he just shot it wide. I'm not sure if Pang got a piece. Puck. Here's the draw. Hacked at. Nobody can find it. The whistle. The horn goes. And the Hawks have won. And it took until but the Blackhawks have together a winning streak. Their first two-game winning streak of In the third period, one goal scored. The difference in the game, Wayne Presley is seventh of the year with a rocket up over the glove of Leute. His second of the game, Presley from Manson and Thomas at 2.17 to 
provide the difference.